hello everyone this is Manoj welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we'll discuss and talk about one pager responsive website in react so let me show you so uh, this is the actual design of one pager if you see the menu if I click on about so the about section will come if I click on services the services will come if I click on gallery so these sections are coming one by one and you can see this is a one pager responsive website and if I open the developer tools and if I click on mobile mode so you can see this is a complete responsive website alright so in today's video we'll create the same website in react application so let's quickly create a new project so for this video I'm using uh, application name is react dash one dash pager so uh, the command is npx create react app you can use this command to create your application and you can also give your particular location for me I'm using this location this one so let's wait for some time so that it will create the project and also create all the files and dependencies so the project has been created let's go to the project directory by using CD and the project name and now open the project in Visual Studio code so the project has been opened in Visual Studio code so this is the default folder structure of a react application let me quickly run it by opening new terminal and the command is npm start so this command will start our development server and we can see our default react component page in the browser you can see this localhost colon 3000 this is the default URL of our react application if you want you can also change it by doing some changes in this package.json file so go back to browser so at the first time it will take some time to render the component so you can see this is the default react interface so now go back to visual studio code and now here we will do some changes so first of all go to the HTML template so this is the HTML template first we need to copy all the related folders in our case we have three folders one is CSS second one is fonts third one is images so let's copy all three folders and go back to Visual Studio code and inside this public let paste all these or instead of directly pasting create a new folder assets and paste all three here I guess it will not allow to paste it here so let's open this oops and now inside this paste all three folders now if we expand this so we will see all three folders one is CSS second one is fonts third one is images so content is also there inside the respective folders perfect now let me close this package.json now we need to go this index.html file inside this public folder all right also go back to your HTML template and we have a index.html file let's open this in any editor as of now I'm using notepad plus plus so let's copy the head section first so copy this and paste it inside the head section so before pasting let's remove everything from the existing head in the react application paste it whatever you have copied from your index dot HTML web page that is one step now we need to go the source folder let's create another folder and name it pages 
and inside the pages let's create another file and let's say give it a name home.js so inside the let's let's create a simple functional component like import react from react and function home and return a simple div let's say demo one pager website and finally export default home save this so we are ready with our home component now we need to go app.js inside source folder and inside this app first uh, let's delete everything from this dev I mean remove the header tag and now let's import the home component so it will automatically import once you hit the tab so let's save this now go back to your browser so you can see that home components content is rendered so demo one page or website so this is coming from the home component perfect now again go back to your editor now we need to copy the entire thing from this body tag so let's copy everything till here copy and go back to home and inside this div let's remove this demo one pager website dummy content and paste it here now you can see a lot of errors are there so we will quickly remove one by one the first thing is we need to remove these comments because react doesn't recognize this as a react comment so remove one by one so I have removed all the comments that is one step now another step is we need to check any BR or HR tag because we need to close all of them so now let's go one by one so see we need to close it like this also here and with that we also need to check the images tag so we also need to close image tag like this another step is if we have any input elements of HTML so we also need to close all of them like this let me align this by hitting shift alt F okay I think that was extra dev so let's save this and now go back to browser so you can see the content has been rendered but style is not working the reason is go back to index.html file we have pasted the head section so inside this you can see if I talk about the reference of this bootstrap.min.css file so now it is pointing to CSS folder but we have pasted all the files and folders inside this assets folder so we have to give a accurate path so like this assets slash CSS so let me copy this also paste for all relative CSS files so let's save this so you can see the CSS is working now but again the images are not working no problem we need to go home.js file and here we have images let me show you we also need to change the path of all the images so inside this images so let me copy like this and paste basically I'm going to change all the path 
by one go like this so replace all save this go back to your browser now you can see all the images are working all the CSS files are working now let's try to check the menu if I click on about perfect services gallery blog contact me perfect so this is the react one and this is the HTML one you can see both are identical so this is how you can create any HTML template into a react application and let me also show you something or you can say this is a kind of form if you want you can do any kind of logic on it so for that you need to go the form which is the contact us here so you can see we already have an action and method so here you can put your method like how you validate all these fields right and if you want to do something with the input details whatever user will input in so you can write your events and methods so that you can control the details of a user all right so this is how you can work on a HTML template to a react application so now if you need this template so you can message me on my Instagram my Instagram handle is open programmer so I'll provide you a link so that you can use this beautiful template in your application and project all right so this is about today's video I hope you like it if you did so hit the like button share comment and again if you want to talk to me one to one then you can message me on my Instagram my Instagram handle is open programmer you can also find this in channel description so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching take care bye bye